Hey guys, this is my new Seiko SKX watch. Um, I'm just gonna be doing a kind of an overview of it. I've had it now for about a month, and uh, I've, I've liked it. Uh, kind of a funny story as to how I got it. I actually bought it on eBay. I'm a big Amazon guy, as I'm sure a lot of you are as well. It's just easy, good prices, quick shipping. Um, and these, I think these can be had for, depending on the day, maybe like 165 bucks or so. And, um, I was like, well, I'd, you know, always like to try to save a buck. And there was one on eBay for maybe 10 bucks less. I ended up buying it from someone, I think in Japan. And, uh, it had been like a month or two months and I hadn't received the watch and the tracking number didn't track out. And I'm sure you're thinking I bought it from someone really sketchy, but I actually didn't. It was someone with couple hundred uh, positive feedbacks, 100%. Um, and he, he just was like, yeah, it must have gotten lost in the mail. So he gave me a full refund. I completely forgot about it. And uh, I was like, you know what, maybe that's just a sign. I don't I don't need the SKX and uh, just not meant to be. And then lo and behold, a couple weeks later, it shows up at my doorstep. I open it up and I'm like, oh, well, he did ship it and it, it is here. So I wrote him an email, offered to pay and uh, as to this day, I have not heard back yet from I definitely wanted to try at least try to pay. Uh, I don't I don't I don't know if he'll end up replying back, but sorry, I, I'm rambling. Uh, it is a cool watch. Uh, it you know for $170, it's hard to find something that would that would be able to beat it uh, in terms of you know durability, reliability, uh, kind of iconic in a way looks. Uh, I mean, Citizen Orient. Uh, some other companies like that may have some some models that that may be worth looking into um, kind of go over what I like so far uh, I do like the um, just kind of the neutral look of it I, they have a uh, SKX 009 that's red and blue I, I like this one better just because it's so versatile being a black watch with kind of a neutral um, a neutral dial to it I mean there's a little bit of orange but it really I mean I mean I don't have to tell you this guys put or people put this on all kinds of different types of straps it just you hardly ever see this on the standard rubber band or uh, the jubilee that it comes with people mod these it's just a really kind of it's like the honda civic of 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 watches i mean they're just so easily customizable um i've got it on a 22 millimeter wide um zulu nato strap here it does have 22 millimeter lugs, which I think I would have preferred 20 just to have it be that little bit thinner, but uh, but it is what it is. 22 is fine too. It's just, uh, you know, it'd be nice to kind of have a size that was a little bit more in line with my other watches. It's got, you know, some different surfaces here on the side. It alternates between polished and brushed. Um, and, you know, it's got a, 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 a decent bezel on it I, and it's kind of, it may sound kind of substantial on the microphone, but it's it does feel kind of weird compared to my other watches. I mean, you know, spinning around even my Squale, which I would say was the next worst, not to be negative, but my next worst bezel out of all my watches. This is not really as awe-inspiring as that one, and that one's not even that great. So the bezel's okay. I mean, but it is a $175 watch. There's no real play in it, which is great. Um, the date and day is, is really kind of frustrating. I've tried setting it in the morning and it changes at noon. I try setting it in the afternoon and it doesn't change at midnight. So, you know, I don't know what else to do. Um, it may, maybe it'll work. I need to kind of give it like a quarter turn to really kind of jumpstart it for the next day. But that's one of my gripes is I'd rather have no day or date if it's going to be finicky because then I'll try to remember the day better. Uh, the crown is pretty good. Uh, I will say this is like my Omega Seamaster in that I found to, to get it to catch the threads, you really have to be putting force towards the case uh, as opposed to some other watches where you can just twist and the threads catch and the crown goes back in. Really try to push in towards the case as you're twisting and that'll really help it go back into place uh, easier just a little tip and that's at least with this watch um, uh, might as well switch the date because it's probably not going to switch later tonight anyway um, but you you change the date by moving the crown this way and it alternates between um, sp uh, Spanish and English so you would just set it to uh, you know Wednesday and then I was moving the crown in this direction counterclockwise 
you don't change the click, you just move it in the other direction here clockwise and then it changes the date. So, I mean, it's a cool feature in theory. It just hasn't worked very well for me. Maybe it's maybe it's my fault. And then obviously the next click is, is adjusting the time, which is pretty self-explanatory. Um, so yeah, uh, I mean, overall I like it. I guess I'm kinda, I guess I'm still gonna have to kinda work on the date thing and see if I can get that figured out see if that'll kind of improve or I just need to improve when I'm setting it um, you can see the back of the watch here it's a cool like little wave on the back um, in terms of like the size it says it's a 42 um, this is like almost the same footprint as the Squalife 1521 50 Atmos that I have uh, it says it's a 42, but since the crown's over here at the four o'clock position, it really wears like a 40. So if you're at all nervous that the um, 42 would be too big or something, and you're more of a 40 millimeter person, uh, don't be don't be shy. It's it's it wears small for sure. So I'm gonna do a wrist shot here. I do have a seven inch wrist. And this, this NATO strap, in case you're wondering, is from Amazon too. I think it was like 15 bucks. So there's my wrist shot, seven inch wrist, 42 millimeter wide case. It's a good fit. I mean, the lugs, the lug distance is pretty short. Um, there's not really any overhang at all. I will say that th these NATO straps that I found on Amazon, uh, I don't know if it's because it's the Zulu and not just the regular NATO, but the cheap NATO straps, if you go to cheapnatostraps.com, not affiliated with them at all, just bought something from them and like them, they're not as long as this and they fold back in on themselves a lot easier and aren't as bulky as these. With these, you have to like pull this buckle forward to just kind of tame all the strap that is left over. Um, and I know I have kind of small wrists, but still, I mean, the, the cheap Neto strap was, is a lot easier to, to maneuver than this one is. So just kind of keep that in mind. If, uh, if you find one that you don't like and you're kind of getting frustrated with them, the Neto strap can be really cool, but just make sure that you get the, the one that fits your wrist the best, whether it's, you know, needing to get a, a shorter one or get, get one that's a little bit longer. Um, I've worn it in the water. It's great. Obviously no issues there. Uh, I've had it on the it's stock rubber strap. Uh, it's nice. It's really stiff. It's really hard to get the that strap off to just get down to the spring bar if you want to start playing with NATOs. So just keep that in mind. It is really hard to get the uh, that that stock rubber strap off. It's super stiff. The spring bars on this are really fat. It's just it's tough. But once they're off, they're off, and you can just kind of stay in NATO world. Sorry about that lapse. I had a uh, phone call come in. I took it really quick. So anyway, it's probably a good opportunity to just wrap this up. Uh, great watch. It's very affordable. Uh, it can be kind of uh, your only watch, your best watch, or it can kind of be kind of a beater watch. If you have kind of a higher end collection, it can be the watch that kind of takes a, takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. Uh, pun intended. So yeah, it's great. I would kind of like to explore the other brands that we I mentioned earlier the Mako uh, from Orient and some of the Citizen watches. So I may end up getting some other kind of uh, competitors, I would say, maybe in this price range, just to see what, what they're like. Maybe see if the uh, the date uh, function gets a little bit better, or if the the lugs are, or the uh, spring bar is a little bit easier to change. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, it's a great watch. So uh, if you're in the market, definitely go go pick one up. All right, thanks for watching, guys.